Dead Farmer 73 here. Gas prices are going through the roof. So we all need to really be thinking about alternative means of energy. So with that being said, not only do you need a little bit of energy, you need a lot of energy. So what do we have here that can put out just as much energy as a gas generator? Introducing the new Energizer PPS 2000. Let's check it out. We're gonna start on the top and work our way down. As you can see, we got two 15 watt charging pads on the top of the power station for wireless charging. We have a bright LCD screen with all the readouts for your DC, your AC, everything is touch screen. You got your readout of how much battery you got, your DC load, your AC load, what you have coming in through AC and what you have coming in through your car or your solar panels over here. The best part is you go into your settings and you can critique this and you can make this the way you want it. You can set this for 50 hertz, 60 hertz. You can change this however you want to. You can also go to alarms and see what may have caused the problem with your power station. It's going to read out right here and you can simply just clear it out just like that. Clear the alarm. It will reset itself. And you go back and then you have your main screen again. We have six covered 120 volt AC ports here. We have four standard USB ports at 18 watts a piece covered as well. And one 100 watt USB-C port. One 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter DC port. And now they even have a 12 volt 30 amp RV aviator port, which is awesome for all of us RV lifers. Also comes with a standard power brick, USB-C port cable, aviator plug, another aviator plug, and of course our Anderson plug, cigarette lighter adapter, and our famous MC4 plug. Now they gave you every kind of way to plug this up to all your devices. And if you're wondering, does it support pass-through charging? Well, let's take a look. So as you can see, I'm using my AC power brick and I got it plugged into the wall at the moment. And I am at the time charging the PPS 700 and my favorite Energizer P320. So that should be pretty much full. That's full now, but I was charging it through the USB-C port. I am charging the PPS 7700 through the DC cigarette lighter port. And I am also running through my AC port, my ice maker, because I am making ice while we do this video. So that's running as well. And as you can see, we are pulling 114 watts through the ice maker right now, and we're pulling 94 watts through the DC port. It also accepts 900 watts of solar. It also accepts 900 watts of solar. But it also doesn't need 900 watts of solar like another one that it looks like it doesn't need all the wattage and the voltage to charge it. You can actually charge the Energizer PPS2000 on one 100 watt solar panel. Okay, let's hook up one single panel and see how it works. We're gonna be using the 100 watt Renergy panel to hook it up. Okay, I'm gonna take my MC4 connectors from the panel and plug them in. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our MC4 adapter plug and our MC4 
aviator plug and we're going to connect it together. I'm going to plug in our MC4 connectors. And now we're going to plug this in and see if we get any juice. Match up the holes to those holes. Now you can screw this on to keep that on there. Let's see what we got. There you go. The sun is just starting to come back out of the clouds and we're at least getting 14 watts right here. So it's raising the more that the sun comes out. So again, we only got 20 volts and it's a 100 watt panel on a cloudy rainy day, but it's still bringing in something. That is incredible. Okay, so the one panel worked. So now what we're gonna try to do is run four 100 watt panels, two in series each, and then in parallel to the power station. Okay, I have my panels in parallel and two in series with adapters. So we're gonna go and see how that works out. Okay, cloudy day, but we still have 130 watts coming in and it's going up as the clouds cover the sun, but we are getting significant power coming in. So I'm only using four, four panels at 100 watts a piece on a cloudy rainy day so i think we're doing all right right now so now you're probably wondering can it run major appliances can it really get it done in a pinch well i've done those tests too so check this out let's start with everybody's favorite morning coffee Yes, we are brewing coffee. Oh yeah. So, we are pulling 854 watts with this coffee maker. But this 2100 watt pure sign inverter has no problem delivering the power it takes to run this coffee machine. Got that thing popping now. We're about to get it cracking. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what's happening right there, boy. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. How many watts are we pulling? 1,081 watts. I got it up to 350. What are you doing? Huh? Nothing? Don't look like nothing to me. As a matter of uh, fact, it smells like something. I was cooking lunch for the chicken. Chickens. Getting them something to eat for, for the chicken. Mm. See, see, this is what I was I was getting for me. Yeah, right. right here, I was going to blend me up a little garden drink. Right here, I was going to just get mine. I was going to use that. No, don't use that. Use this powerful one. You want me to use this? Yes, honey, please and thank you. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for this, you think? Think I'm ready for that? You got this. I believe in you. Okay. Well, I'll give it a shot, I guess. Alright, let's get it plugged in and see what happens. Power on. I guess let's make a garden drink. <laughs>
This test ain't going the way I wanted it to. It ain't that bad. Go ahead and drink it. Well, it wasn't so bad after all. So, since we know it can use all this heavy equipment, it's running my deep freezer, it's running my full-size home refrigerator, it's running my Ninja blender, it's running a hot plate, and it's also running an air fryer. I got one more test to do. Let's go. And now for the ultimate test. Will the new Energizer PPS2000 run a 10,000 BTU window unit air condition? Okay, I'm gonna unplug this from the house. Here's the plug to that air conditioner. I'm just gonna plug that in here. We do have power. Just for giggles, because I am so knowing that this is going to work, I'm going to plug in the average box fan as well. So, let's see how it works. We're going to wait till the compressor kicks in as well. We got initial power, and we are pulling... 705 watts right now before the compressor kicks in. Let's cut on that fan. I'm going to cut it on high. There we go. Fan on high. Right now, between the fan and the AC, I'm pulling 700. 74 watts. The compressor is cold, but I didn't hear the compressor kick in yet. It's getting cold about a minute, and I know it's hot outside, so. Crank that. Oh, Lord. That looks like a perfect temperature to me. Well, family, I guess that's it. It's ice cold, and we're only pulling 849 watts with the 10,000 BTU air condition running and the box fan on high. I guess it went right past those surge watts and just start cruising. So there you have it. It can do this with no problem now at 847 watts. It'll run a little over two hours with no solar hook to it. Now, if we hooked solar panels up to it and was bringing in, imagine this, 900 watts of solar. If we could bring in 900 watts of solar on a perfect day, okay, we will be running this without using any backup from the generator itself. So it would never deplete until nightfall when the sun went down. So that's excellent. You can run this all day long without de depleting your generator just off the power of the sun. You can't beat that. I mean, you can't beat that. The, the cool down, fairly small places. This is a 10,000 BTU air condition, but it really does cool down the downstairs of my house. That says a lot because in an emergency, some people need it to be cool, just like... Uh, the elderly or babies and some people needed to be cool especially down here in the south so that's incredible all right all right everybody it's lady led so if you want to get a discount on this item you're gonna have to use the link that you see on the screen it's also going to be in the description and here's the code pps2000 use that code you'll get your discount all right thank you for watching it's pps 2000 pps 2000 pps 2000 for pps 2000 super easy thank you, you got so this. much you got this guys all right this thing is excellent you're gonna love it as much as i do or more all right therefore i'm 73 and lady led we love you and